As we are joined tonight by NCFC midfielder Nazmi Abadawi. And Nazmi, thank you first off for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me on, man. It's good to see you again. It's great to see you again. And whenever I tell people about you, like I was telling people about this interview, I describe you as an athlete who is as local as it gets. You are a star at Athens Drive High School, a star at NC State, and a star for our local pro soccer team for years and years. But a season and a half or two seasons ago, you left and went to Cincinnati to play. This week has been a big one. Keepers. Tell us what happened. Right yeah, so last Friday I met with Cincinnati and I told them, essentially I told them, hey, I, I'd like to leave. Um, and they told me, they're like, look, we still think you fit the plan here. Uh, we'd like you to stay. We think you could play here and, and do well. Um, and I told them honestly, I was like, look, I want to get back to enjoying the game, right? I play the game because I love it. I want to get back to having fun. We sold our house over there in Ohio, um, packed everything up really quick. I mean, my wife was working like crazy to get everything packed up. We both were. Wednesday, the movers come. Um, and then we leave Ohio at about 5 o'clock Wednesday. Get here at 2.30 a.m., um, train Thursday, train Friday, fly to Connecticut, and then thankfully I was able to play on the game Saturday. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> so a packed week for you, and when you were giving us a recap, you managed to give a shout-out to your wife. <laughs> Pro move right there, I like that. Um, talking about soccer again and playing here in the Triangle, like you've done for almost all of your career, what's different about playing here at home? It's home. Um, I think everyone knows how much the club means to me, how much the community means to me, too. Uh, I try to be involved in the community as much as I can be. Um, I try to, I mean, I remember when I was a kid going to Railhawk games. At the time, they were Railhawks right before it was NCFC. Going to the games when I was 14, 15 years old and thinking, I want to do this one day. And I remember uh, Capone Lowe, who's now a good friend of mine, jumping in the stands after a goal and celebrating with me. And to me, it was a huge deal. And so for me, I try to give back whenever I can uh, to the community. And I know there's a lot of talented kids in this area, a ton of talented kids that can go on to play professional. And I try to help them in any way I can and show them that uh, you can be a soccer player, but also a good human being at the same time. And that's how I try to carry myself as much as I can. I couldn't be more excited to be back and uh, working with Dave and the new staff and, and getting started. You mentioned Dave. Coach Sirikin obviously was here earlier in the season, and he told us one thing that's important to him is to keep star players who are local local if he can, and he's proven that he does that because he's brought you back. What are your initial impressions of Coach Sirikin? He's been great. Um, first and foremost, he's a great guy. From, from what I've talked to him about and when I've spoken to him, I mean, he's just a really, really good guy. And, and that's, uh, that goes a long way in a coach because the players can see that. Secondly, I mean, you look at his background and his resume, he's done everything there is to do in the game of professional soccer. I mean, he's coached at World Cups, he's coached in MLS, he's coached at, gold, at different international tournaments. So who wouldn't want to play for him? You know, who wouldn't want to play for someone that has that kind of experience and you can learn from him? He's worked with some of the best players in the world. I mean, he has stories of him and David Beckham and, and different players as well. So, um, and I told him, I was like, my goal is to be one of the best players that you've ever coached. That's my personal goal. And, and we have a lot of talented players on this team. I know he's coached a lot of talented players as well, but I firmly believe that you should always try to be your best. And um, if you don't believe in yourself, then why should anyone else? And so um, he's been great so far and I'm looking forward to it. And I'm, I'm just ready to get going again. Sometimes in these interviews, I, I ask people to look at my big board of facts. Today, I'm going to ask you to look at my big board of congrats. We actually have a, <laughs> a graphic up here made. This is, this is based on a tweet that you sent late in the week, and you announced that you and your wife are, are expecting. Has this put things into perspective for you? How excited are you for the future here? It has. Um, it has for sure. I mean, it worked out perfectly with us coming back here as well, that both of our families are here, and we're, we're both Raleigh natives. We're both local people, so having our families and our friends nearby is a big deal to us, and I mean, we're, we're so excited. I, I, it hasn't really hit me 100% yet that I'm going to be a dad, um, but we couldn't be looking forward to it anymore, and, and uh, I know my wife's going to be a great mother, so we're, we're really excited. All right. <laughs> Guys, if you're counting at home, that's not just one that's two shout outs to the <laughs> wife so far pro move we're excited for you and we're excited that you're back at home Nas thanks for joining us thank man. you thank you for having me